This poem is inspired by a Facebook post where I asked black people, if you could write a letter to white people, what would you say? Dear white people, I don't even know where to start. In between my busy schedule comprised entirely of surviving white America, there is simply no time to write letters. Besides, any letter I write would most likely bring tears to your eyes, and I, for one, have had my fill of white tears. There are days I think you aren't worth my ink, that your whiteness is draining me of too much energy, can't give you a taste of the tea for fear you'll colonize the whole kitchen. But today, I am too angry to remain silent. Dear white people, stop making everything about you and how uncomfortable you are. I honestly don't give a flying fuck about your comfort level. You have made my very existence an exercise in discomfort. It is time for you to make room at the table. Better yet, go sit in the living room. I am not here to coddle your feelings, not here for your amusement. No, you cannot touch my hair. This isn't a damn petting zoo. And stop coming into my office asking for the managers if you aren't already looking at one. Dear white people, stop telling me about this colorblind society you allegedly live in. Telling me you don't see race is the racist drivel I hope you choke on. Telling me you respect me but don't see my color is like saying you have to pretend I'm not black in order to respect me. But let me assure you, but let me assure you, I am black, though there are plenty of things I'm not like your sassy black friend. Stop saying, hey girl, when you see me. You ain't that slick. I hear the way you talk to Becky and Steve every day. You sound like vacation on Martha's Vineyard where you waited in the bitter blue of the Atlantic. How I wish my toes could touch the ocean without stepping on the bones of my ancestors. Dear white teachers, why don't I know who my ancestors are? Why is only one part of my history important enough to teach? And for the love of God, stop swiveling your heads every time slavery is mentioned. Newsflash, I wasn't there. And just because I'm the only black person in this class doesn't mean you can ask me to speak on behalf of my race. I'll believe you really care about the opinion of black students when you stop shutting down conversations because I call a white student racist. Dear white people, why do you hate being called racist more than you hate racism? What? Why do you listen to Tim Wise over actual black people about the black experience? Dear white people, stop using black on black crime as a reason we shouldn't be outraged by the murder of black people by white cops. If a black person kills another black person, they will go to jail, and that is what we call justice. If a white cop kills a black person, they will get paid leave, and that is what we call justice. Apparently, apparently, justice is when a black body dies. Dear white people, Every time we've written white people, we have written it in lowercase because we are tired of you capitalizing on our pain. We are angry and raw and tired and angry and raw and tired and tired and tired, but we will not rest because we know the future belongs to those who prepare for it, and you have been getting us ready for centuries.